Hey, you, I need you to hit the subscribe button below. Hello, this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. God is telling us that the old man that we used to be, part of our repentance is that our conversation is going to change. The conversations that we used to have in the world, what, what kind of music we listen to? Huh? Hip hop, R and B, stuff like that. What's in the music? What does it talk about? Violence. What else? Sex. What else? Drugs. All those things. So that conversations that we had in the world, we need to change those things, right? The other thing that we also um, they also talk about is what against each other. What does the music talk about against each other? Bring it out. Huh? Killing each other, right? The music talks about killing each other. So the things that we used to talk about in the world, the conversations that we have, we have to change those things. What you got? The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15 and verse 33. Uh -huh. Be not deceived. Evil communications uh -huh. corrupt good manners. You see that? Evil communication can corrupt your manners. The manners that we used to have is saying, I hate my brother, I hate my sister, right? But what is love according to the Bible? What is love according to God? Follow his commandments. What is one of the commandments that we should do? Love thy neighbor, right? Love thy neighbor, right? Give me that in Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Bring it out. So part of the day of atonement is to start forgiving our neighbors, right? Because a lot of our people have done evil to each other, have said things to hurt each other, right? Said so evil stuff, yo, I'm gonna get you back because Right now, as a people, when we see our brothers and sisters, we don't say, oh, that's my brother or that's my sister. We say, that's that nigga right there, right? Right. right? That's the conversation. That's how we identify ourselves. Read that real quick. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Uh -huh. you know. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Uh -huh. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor uh -huh. and not suffer sin upon him. Read that from the top again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. You see that? It's a not to hate our brothers in our heart. What is the heart according to the Bible? No. The heart is the mind, right? So our mindset has to change because when somebody does something bad to you, what's the first thing you want to do? You want to get them back, but God said what? Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Uh -huh. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge. Any what? Any grudge. Any grudge. Any grudge because as a people, we have grudges against each other. And we see each other and that's why we hate each other as a people. We hate the black skin. We hate, the, we hate our kicky hair, right? Right. We hate that because every time we see that, we see the hatred that we have from each other. Bring it out. And not only that, but they advertise it on the TV, right? right? They always show black on black crime. They always show us killing each other. And then we promote it in our own videos, right? So read that again. Thou shalt not avenge 
nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Uh -huh. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. We shall love thy neighbor as ourselves. That's what you were talking about. Go to Titus chapter 3 and verse 3. So we have to learn how to love our neighbor as ourselves right. because before knowing who we are as a people, know that we're God's chosen people and we have commandments that we keep amongst each other, we used to do the same thing too. You know, right. We ourselves also were sometimes foolish, uh -huh. disobedient, uh -huh. deceived, uh -huh. serving diverse lusts. We serve diverse lusts, our own passions, our own desires, we whoremongering like we talked about earlier, not keeping God's Sabbath day. That was our own desires, me. Right. And pleasures, uh -huh. living in malice and envy, uh -huh. hateful and hating one another. Doing what? And hating one another. You see that? We used to hate one another before we understand that we were the children of God. That's right. We were God's chosen people. We didn't understand that Christ was a black man with woolly hair. Right. God right. is black. Right. Right. David, King David was black, King Solomon was black. All the people in the Bible were black, dark-skinned people. That's right. We used to hate ourselves because we didn't see anything great in ourselves, right? right. Give me uh, Sirach chapter 28 and verse 2. Sirach chapter 28 verse 2. So what we're showing you is how to stop hating ourselves and start the process of healing and forgiveness. Read that. Bring it out. The book of Sirach or Ecclesiastes, chapter 28 and verse 2. Bring it out. Forgive thy neighbor the hurt that he hath done unto thee. No, 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 no. We should hold that grudge. We got to hold that grudge. But the Bible says what? Forgive thy neighbor the hurt that he hath done unto thee. Uh -huh. So thou, so shall thy sins also be forgiven when thou prayest. So you see that? When we start to forgive one another, guess what happens? Read that again. I think y'all missed it. So <laughs> shall thy sins also be forgiven when thou prayest. So when we forgive each other, guess who forgives us? No. Huh? God. God. That's right. God That's right. forgives us when we start to forgive each other. But we haven't learned how to forgive each other because we haven't learned God's laws, right? We haven't learned that we're not supposed to bear the grudges against each other, right? So what we're doing is showing you according to the scriptures how that repentance process begins. And out. the first thing that we can do in order to do that is change our conversation. How, how you been hurt in the past? How's, how has anybody been hurt in the past? No. By other people? By, by a family member? Father? How, how, how's that uh, relationship? Okay. Guess what? The Bible says Give me uh, Micah chapter 7 and verse 6. Oh. Micah chapter 7 verse 6. Because most of our afflict, most of the uh, relationships that we start to learn from or start to build from is right within our own family. Right. But God said, guess what? The neighbors that he's talking about is of our own people. It's right. not talking about everybody else, right? Loving our neighbor is our own people. But guess where most of our enemies come from? Read that. The book of Micah, chapter 7 and verse 6. Uh -huh. For the son dishonoreth the father. Uh -huh. The daughter riseth up against her mother. Uh -huh. The daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Uh -huh. A man's enemies are they, are the men of his own house. You see that? His enemies of his own house, his own up. people, the mothers and the daughters and brothers and sisters, right. that's who's fighting against each other. So when you go out into the world and you meet other people, how can you love them when the closest people you're dealing with is hating you. Bring it out. You understand? Bring it out. So that's part of the healing process. Maybe right now that may be a difficult task for you to learn from, but you have there's a starting process. The first thing we can do is Matthew chapter five, the Lord's Prayer. Real quick. So the first thing we could do is when we pray, we can ask for forgiveness and learn how to forgive, and then we can forget, and then we can receive that forgiveness also. You got that? Okay. The book of Matthew, chapter 6 and verse 9. Uh -huh. Read out. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, uh -huh. our Father which is art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation. So it says to forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. So first thing to get our forgiveness we have to start to learn how to forgive one another. Right. Read on. Verse 14. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, uh -huh. your heavenly Father will also forgive you. You see that? 
when we forget the people who have done us wrong, guess what? The Lord is going to start to do good for us, right? right? Give me Romans chapter 13 and verse 8. Yeah. What we're showing you is love and forgiveness to our own people. This is where the healing process starts, and this is where we start to get our sins forgiven. Well, I'm sorry. Romans chapter 13 and verse 8. No. Oh, no man anything but to love one another. Uh -huh. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. Uh -huh. For this, for this, thou shalt not commit adultery. Uh -huh. thou, so part of, of read that uh, 13 and 8 again. Oh, no man anything but to love one another. Uh -huh. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. So if we love one another, we are fulfilling God's laws. Read on. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery. For this, we should not commit adultery with one another. Read on. Thou shalt not kill. You should not kill. Because when we when we think about killing, when, is, when does that process start? Where does killing start from? You know what I'm huh? Hate. Hate is the start of the killing process. Read right. that. The book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 15. Bring it out. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. Hated his brother is what? Is a murderer. That's where we learn to hate each other. That's where we learn to kill each other. Because we start looking at each other in a way that is not according to God. It's not in a loving way. So go back to that. The book of Romans, chapter 13 and verse 8. Oh, oh no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. Uh -huh. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet, and if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying. What is the saying? Namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. You see that? When we do good to each other, not steal from each other, not kill each other, not have hatred against each other. Right. That's when we start to love thy neighbor as thyself. That's right. And when we start to forgive each other, that's when God will start to forgive us. Right. Give me um give me uh first Kings. First Kings chapter eight and verse forty seven. So once we start to forgive each other, then God is going to start to forgive us. And the conditions that we're in, the reason why we have the Black Lives Matter movement and people trying to protest against the conditions that we are today is because we are oppressed by our oppressors, right? We're being used, we're being killed on the street. But God said once we turn to him, God is going to do something for us. We don't. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 8 and verse 47. Oh. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. If we remember ourselves, if we remember that we're the uh, 12 tribes of Israel. We remember we're from Judah. We remember we're from Zebulon. Right. If we bethink ourselves, remember that Christ is a black man and we must keep the commandments. Read. If they shall yet bethink themselves uh -huh. in the land whither they were carried captive. Where is the land that we've been carried captive into? Well, you know. Huh? America. That's right. This is a future prophecy. God is telling us that we will remember who we are in the land of our captivity. That's right. Which is America. Come on. And repent. And do what? And repent. Forgive one another. Love one another. Love thy neighbor as thyself. That's part of the repentance process. Come on. And make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captive, uh -huh. saying, We have sinned and have done perversely. We have committed wickedness. And so return unto unto thee with all thy heart uh -huh. and all their soul in the land of their enemies which led them away captive. And pray unto thee toward their land. And do what? Pray unto thee toward their land. Remember we read earlier in order for God to hear us, we have to forgive each other. And then when we pray, what will happen? He'll forgive us. Read. Right. Which thou gavest unto their fathers, uh -huh. the city which thou hast chosen, and the house which I have built for thy name. Uh -huh. Then hear thou their, supplica their supplication uh -huh. in heaven, thy dwelling place, and maintain their cause, and forgive thy people that have, that have sinned against thee. You see that? When we trust to change, and here in America, God said that he will start to forgive us, and our conditions will change. Power. While Heron was pushed, but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. 
Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth.